Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to the March New Windsor Town Board meeting. Before we get started, I can have everybody stand up for the pledge, please. So right back here. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, one nation, under God, indivisible. Thank you. <laughs> So tonight we have the entire town board with us. We have uh, Steve Moreau, Councilman Steve Moreau, Councilwoman Sylvia Santiago, Councilwoman Eve Lincoln, Highway Superintendent Anthony Fayo. We have our town clerk, Kelly Allegra, Receiver of Taxes, Susan Scheibel, our town attorney, Dave Sagan, and Patrick is on the keyboard. Um, first thing on the agenda tonight is uh, on Thursday, February 16th, we had a special town board meeting for uh, some police retirements and promotions. Uh, police Chief Robert Doss retired. Sergeant Chris Hager retired. Um, we promoted Lieutenant Danny Valeri to police chief. Sergeant Ma Matt Monahan was promoted to police lieutenant. Sar our, uh, Detective Alexander Ragney was promoted to police sergeant. Officer Hannah Lake was promoted to police sergeant. And our ID officer, Jeremy Arcaro, was made detective. That was a detective spot. We just made him detective. So uh, that was during a Thursday special town board meeting. So we wanted to make it part of the uh, workshop here. <clears throat> Moving along, number two is um, that we're going to call for a public hearing on Wednesday at the town board meeting, the community development block grant to the CDBG for 2024. Um, we have to do this for uh, yearly. This is for 2024. It's just we ask for public comment on any projects that uh, that possibly any any uh, town residents want to see us do. I know we were, we were talking about some drainage projects and everything. I know the, the highway superintendent and the town supervisor were, were working on that. So that'll be, we're going to call for a public hearing uh, for that Wednesday. Um, number two is, three. or number three, I'm sorry, we're going to call for a public hearing again on chapter 300 town code for the town code digital signs. Um, so right now the town of New Windsor does not have a digital sign code. Any of the digital signs you see in town now are all uh, allowed by variance to the uh, zoning board. So we're going to we're looking to um, we're going to call a public hearing on Wednesday to uh, seek comment, and uh, we're going to look to change this and add it to the uh, to the chapter 300 to allow these without going through variances. Um, this will kind of help out the zoning board too with them being bogged down with all that uh, sign variant stuff and everything. Could I just mention something on that? Yeah, sure. So um, uh, Dave Zagan helped clarify. So if there's any business owners listening or they go back and listen, um, I didn't want any of them to think that all of a sudden they're going to have to you know, redo their sign or get a new one in case it yeah, doesn't allowed, match like, exactly right. So yeah. we're going to allow them to kind of be grandfathered in if they already had a variance. And then if they ever sell or have to fix it then at that point. The, the only way it could affect them is if our code now allows them to have a bigger sign. Right. They would have to, you know, they can adjust it to that to allow that. But yeah. uh, so that's good for them. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. It's not going to cause any hardships or anything. Yeah. Uh, number four. On the agenda is uh, we're gonna we're awarding a bid for a dump truck with a wing plow and an edge on it for one hundred and sixty eight thousand nine hundred two dollars. Um, that's been being awarded to Amthor Welding. Um, I don't know. Is this going to be another year project? Probably year year and a half. Probably. Yeah, year and a half. So we never got the other one in yet. Right? Right. Well, I got one. We ordered like fifteen months ago. Oh, we did. Oh, good. So this is going to be awarded on Wednesday. Only thanks for that. Uh, number five, we're still uh, we're in our third year of the townwide paving project. Um, right now, I don't believe we have the. You probably you're in the middle of making this list, right? Still working on. Okay. Um, the supervisor did ask if um, anybody has you know, want to know if your your street's going to make the list this year, maybe sometime after March fifteenth. Give his office a call here. Um, and then he can refer any questions or anything to Anthony. So uh, take care of that. So far, I think we've done approximately 40, close to 40 miles of roads already. Give me uh, 15 to 20 a year we're doing. So we're in our third year of it. So that's going to continue. Uh, next one is the, uh, the farmer's market. I know Councilwoman Santiago was spearheading this with, um, I believe, a little help from 
that's what I'm liking there. Um, I know, so you want to talk about this or? Um, sure, no, as you know, uh, as you, we discussed uh, back in October when we had the first farmer's market, uh, we surveyed uh, the people that visited and everyone, you know, was uh, happy to have had it and they would, would like to have it at least twice, twice a month. Um, is what we heard here at Town Hall. So in talking with Matt Bernice, you know, and uh, and uh, Keith Bedetti, um, you know, we figured that we can have it done here. Uh, so the hope is to have it uh, maybe starting in May uh, through October. Uh, I think May might be once, you know, once and then the other months be twice a month. So uh, I know uh, Matt put some dates forward. So yeah, they're on the um, expectation. In the what you had here was, uh, which is, you know, it seems reasonable. It's uh, Saturday from 10 to 2. Correct. Uh, first one starting on May 13th, June uh, 2, July 2, August 2, September 2, and October 2. Um, looks like it's allowing about 25 vendors for each. Uh, it's going to be next door here where Correct. it was in the past. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are working out some uh, vendor pay, how much you would pay if early bird and stuff like that. But, yes. Um, anybody got any comments? Good. We like it. We, I think George is just looking to see if anybody had any comment. If not, he was just going to probably tell Matt to Go start going ahead with it. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely. So, looks like a good idea. Um, the last thing here on the public is uh, again the CDBG. This is CARES. Um, this has to, this is a second public hearing required for this. Uh, this has to do with um, the Marasco Center work that we're doing. Quinn Malarkey from MHE is going to be here on Wednesday as well to answer any uh, any questions from the public they may have on the, and just give us a little breakdown of what, where we're at with the project, how much money we've spent so far, and so on. Again, this is a required second public hearing on this, uh, the CARES money of the CDBG also, and again, it's for the Marasco Center. So, um, again, if anybody has any questions on it, they can come and ask about it. Um, that's it with the public portion of it. Um, anybody else got anything? We're going to go to executive session. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you.